Welcome. The optimal outcome of pregnancies with any fetal abnormality really hinges on accurate prenatal diagnosis, prognostic assessment, the considerations of the wishes of the family in the context of the management options that can be offered. Specific to patients with a prenatal diagnosis of spina bifida, we are very fortunate here at Johns Hopkins because we have a high level of expertise in the prenatal diagnosis, the prenatal treatment options, including the fetoscopic and open spina bifida repairs, as well as the postnatal surgical options and the aftercare in a highly experienced spina bifida clinic. And it is really rare to have all of these resources at one institution. Our spina bifida clinic has long-standing experience with the postnatal care of families where the baby has had prenatal repair of the spina bifida, and it's a combination of this expertise that accompanies the care of the patients that is really critical for long-term good outcomes. The inclusion criteria for fetoscopic spina bifida closure are that the mother is at least 18 years of age. It must be a singleton pregnancy. There must be no other findings on the fetus that are not related to spina bifida. Genetic testing must be normal, either by karyotype or microarray. Um, the time limit in pregnancy for the closure is between ideally 23 and the last day is 25 weeks and six days. Um, they must be willing to remain close to the hospital and deliver at the Johns Hopkins Hospital due to the regular regulatory requirements for this protocol. Um, and they must be able to really understand the risks and benefits of the procedure. Specific exclusion criteria for fetoscopic closure include multiple gestation, a pre-pregnancy body mass index greater than 35, um, additional abnormalities not related to spina bifida, maternal red cell alloimmunization or other um, communicable diseases such as hepatitis or HIV. They must also not have any uterine anomalies or large fibroids or any prior surgery in the active segment of the uterus or a history of spontaneous preterm birth less than 37 weeks. Additionally, they must be open to blood transfusion. Um, the cervix must not be short. There must be no evidence of placenta previa or accreta. And also all patients undergo consultation with both our social work team um, to evaluate for any psychosocial limitations um, that should preclude pedal surgery. And finally, they have a consultation with our OB anesthesia team to ensure that there is no contraindications to general anesthesia. Um, for patients that elect for open fetal closure, there is slightly more flexibility in that they are able to return to their home institution for delivery um, for selected cases.